I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we return to our Python playlist, and I want to talk about CUDA, which is a nice way of moving our calculations that normally would be done on our CPU to our GPU and uh, using TensorFlow uh, and specifically TensorFlow GPU and doing an installation of uh, CUDA. Now I've already installed my CUDA installation but I'll give you some steps on how to do it and I'll give an explanation about why you can do it and I'll show you some screenshots of uh, successful uh, implementation and running some models on CUDA so that you'll understand. So without further ado, let's get to our discussion of CUDA. If you need help or coaching on your project, make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so for those of you that might be just getting started in machine learning uh, or you're doing some machine learning projects for your work and you're noticing that some of your models are just taking forever to complete. And uh, if you don't know about CUDA, then, then this video is for you. Uh, because what you're probably seeing is that your CPU, like in this picture here, your CPU is probably at 100% and, uh, and, and your model is progressing, but it's you know, not as fast as you think it could be. And you're actually right. Uh, because what you should be uh, trying to do is getting, getting your video card working for you. Now, if you have an NVIDIA video card, um, uh, NVIDIA has, uh, NVIDIA has a sort of plugin that you can use uh, with TensorFlow. And if you install TensorFlow-GPU, then uh, there's all kinds of magical stuff that can happen uh, in your processing uh, where NVIDIA, or pardon me, TensorFlow will automatically take advantage of your uh, graphics card. Now you might be wondering why is that good and uh, the answer is that your your graphics card is already optimized to do parallel processing uh, on a level that your CPU uh, just simply can't do and so your graphics card can do lots and lots and lots of calculations uh, at the same time and if the calculations are not dependent on each other um, then uh, this sort of massive parallelization of your calculations is going to really benefit you uh, by saving you a ton of time. So as you can see up in the top right corner here, uh, the you can see that um, by switching to this CUDA view, so make sure if you do install your CUDA and you don't see anything, make sure that you use the drop down here to, uh, to grab the CUDA um, uh, view and then you'll, you'll start to see the uh, the processing that's happening on CUDA. Now, that may not actually match what's going on on your totally on your graphics card, um, but you'll see a sort of a combo view down here in the bottom left, and you can also see your uh, dedicated memory usage. Now, this graphics card is not even, this computer is not a very good computer, the one that I'm running this one on, um, but it does have this graphics card, which is kind of near the lower end of the sort of qualifying cards as I understand it. Um, most of you probably have a better card than this, uh, but uh, if you do have a card that's in that range, yeah, it's going to speed up your project incredibly uh, over not having uh, the TensorFlow-GPU installed. And as you can see, this is a little test model that I did on some fire data from NASA, from their satellites. Um, their satellites put out and I'm using TensorFlow and uh, I've got a sequential model with some dense layers. I'm looking at the device and at the start of this pr procedure just to make sure that it's using <laughs> the, uh, the graphics card. So when I hit go, um, you can see I, I list the devices first. You can see it there and uh, there we go. So this is just ripping through. Now when I ran this on another computer that did not have the GPU uh, plug-in, um, it was actually quite slow and it was going to take a long time. Um, and uh, as you can see here, this has got uh, uh, seven, about 75% accuracy in predicting uh, a fire uh, from the NASA hotspot data. And 
uh, that's something that I was sort of working there. So as you can see, you can see where the, the uh, GPU memory usage went up. And, uh, and you can also see if I switch to the CUDA view. Now make sure you might not see anything. Uh, switching that view, you can see it actually did not use the CUDA very intensively there, uh, even though it was just ripping through that model. Um, it used, especially for computer vision, which is a different kind of model, it, it'll use the GPU quite uh, a lot more heavily. Um, and if I want to do sort of see the view that you saw right at the beginning of that there, I've got another script that I can run. And it, it'll show you how to, uh, using uh, this device lib, uh, it'll show you how to check if, you, if your installation is using your GPU. So you can see in the first part here, uh, it says that, you know, it identifies my CPU, but then it also says, oh, hey, I've got this GPU here I can use. And if you have more than one GPU, it will detect those as well. Um, so it says, hey, it's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, and uh, it has a compute capability of 6.1. And I know this is not a very strong GPU for that stuff. There's way better GPUs. Um, but uh, at the end of the procedure, you can see it releases the memory, and uh, there's our CUDA window. Uh, which I, you can actually spike if you, you know, just go to detect it um, to see if it's there. Um, if you run this, this device lib um, <clears throat> uh, command, it will actually spike that, you know, the CUDA processor just while it tests. So that's one way that you can check. Make sure you do that selection, though, otherwise you'll be looking at your graphics card wondering why nothing's happening and it doesn't look like it's using it. Um, but you need to change to that CUDA view. Now I'm not doing a full installation in this video, but I can tell you that you're going to need uh, Visual Studio. Uh, you might need to get Visual Studio Express uh, for some of the components in there. Uh, then you're going to need the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit, which you can download. Um, and then after you have the toolkit, uh, make sure to get the uh, NVIDIA uh, CUDNN and uh, make sure that the version that you choose matches with the toolkit um, that you, you're planning on using. Uh, and of course, uh, number four, make sure you have Python. And then uh, number five, uh, you're going to need uh, TensorFlow GPU. So if you've just been using TensorFlow up until now, uh, make sure that you, uh, you're going to change that out and do your uh, pip install. TensorFlow GPU uh, so that it will automatically detect your uh, GPU and start to use it uh, on your machine learning projects. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use CUDA with your TensorFlow uh, to make your calculations go faster in Python. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you see the bell, and put any questions or comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.